Hi, welcome back to Yoga with Anil and we're finally here on our uh, last episode, Gratitude, right? Gratitude, it's, uh, it's, I think, it's the word that, that we uh, do not generally, you know, um, um, say or uh, use in our life. Uh, this is not going to be an intense practice or anything. Today we are just uh, uh, being thankful, being grateful uh, for everything that we have, especially this body that we have, right? I mean, you see, we do anything and everything, all the work we are doing, even we're being here on the mat and what do we do? We just use this body, right? Oh, we want this, we want that and who suffers? <laughs> it's, it's this body, right? So today I, um, you know, I, I want to give time to, to just be thankful to this, to this body. Um, so gratitude is what we are practicing today, right? Yes, through some of the asanas, through some of the movement, but we're just learning to be, to be thankful. So you can just sit in a very comfy position, all right? I'll also just sit in very comfy position. This is a very comfy position for me, not the usual one that I have been doing. <laughs> so I just want to sit in very comfortable position. You find yourself a comfortable position for you. Um, even the hands, if you want, you can just cover the knees or if you feel like being more, I don't know, passive, you can keep the palms on uh, the lap, shoulders also relaxed. Uh, of course, not sitting with um, rounding the back, but uh, being comfortable there. Shoulders, if you want, you can just move here and there a bit and just be here. All right. Trust me, um, you might not do physically uh, yoga a lot today. Um, but you and I, we're here on, on the same boat, right? So we'll just sit, observe, listen to our body, be grateful, be thankful during the practice. And that's what we do, okay? So wherever you are, in whichever position you're um, sitting or you're keeping your hands, just with that, you have a very gentle smile on your face. And let's start with keeping our eyes closed. Just a couple of breaths. Don't rush. And don't even force. Just breathe in and breathe out. You can Make this breathing a little more deeper. Inhale deep through the nostrils. Exhale out long through the nostrils only.
Continue that. And with every exhalation, you let go. Learn the art of letting go. Anything, whatever it is. A thought, doesn't matter a negative or positive thought, let it go. An emotion and feeling, a feeling or any kind of tension, pressure, release it. With that exhalation, let it go. Try watching your breath. And few breaths in through the nostrils out through the mouth, out long. Continue that. Being here more on the mat. If you still need to adjust the pose, feel free to do that, who cares? This is your day. If you feel a little more relaxed, or kind of prepared or ready for the abhyasa. You can join your hands to the chest. And we can begin with three omkara. Inhale. Oh. intense practice um, will get back to the basics okay uh, the basic foundation is to be aware of uh, what we are doing uh, the basic foundation is that you focus more on the breath and of course listen to your body so all of this we keep it in mind and we just listen to our body we take the practice absolutely easy slow and just understanding right understanding what our body is trying to say through the practice right so not forcing today at all being at your comfort zone okay i am also not going to count slow or fast or anything it's it's like we're celebrating gratitude. It's like it's like we're celebrating the 
last uh, session of this series right you and i we both and let's start with surrendering ourselves in shashangasana okay so we can release this comfortable position and get into another comfortable position <laughs> that is shashangasana <clears throat> okay nice and easy we sit don't have to extend the hands fully forward you can keep the elbows down and just drop the forehead on the mat just a couple of breaths here only like your uh, being thankful to your mat yeah like this mat was with you when no one else and if you see actually right and this mat is taking care of us taking care of you taking care of myself more than anyone else i think at this moment so i know to take out time to be thankful slowly easily walk the hands back okay you can join the knees or you can again sit in comfortable cross legged position or you can just be here if you are here in vajrasana you can keep the palms on the knees or the thighs or if well, sorry what can be done <laughs> or if you are just um, um sitting in comfortable cross legged position you can cover the knees with the palms all right same we will be doing some shoulder rotation so inhale lift up exhale roll back and down inhale lift up exhale roll back and down you can keep the eyes closed and just feel that movement four five reverse Five, 4 3 2 1 relax nice you can open the eyes if you are closing lift the right hand place it here press the head keep the eyes closed just observe that pressure feel that pressure over the neck breathing in and breathing out 1 
five. And relax, switch the hand to the left side or change the side. One, two, three. Four, five, relax, very nice, okay, and from this position, you can extend the legs out now, keep the hands behind, just shake the legs. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Loosen up. Just relax. Smile. Be there. Don't rush. Be here, be here, be here. Feel what is happening. Alternate toe stretches you can do. Left. Right. Left. Right, small movements, left, right, left, right, and then join the legs, stretch both the toes, pull back, exhale, stretch, inhale, back, exhale, stretch, inhale, back. Exhale, stretch, inhale, back, rotate, one, close the eyes, two, three, four, five, reverse, five, Four, pay attention, three, two, one, good job, okay, if you want you can just shake again, take it easy, like I said, we're uh, taking it easy in all the things that we do today okay then we're going to all fours we're coming to this cat and cow position where i'm keeping my wrists right under the shoulders knees right below the hips Gently arch back, sink the chest, chin up, look up, inhale, exhale, round the back, chin to the chest, push the palms, inhale, can keep the eyes closed. Exhale. Have you ever paid attention to the spine? Inhale. If your answer is no, I want you to pay attention now. Exhale. Like with closed eyes, you can see the x-ray of the spine. How is it moving with that cotton cow, with that inhale and exhale. Inhale, again look up. Or arch back. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Go. 
firm back to neutral position. You can open the eyes. Maintain the knee and the hip in one line. Extend the hands to the front. Walk the hands to the front. Try and touch the chest or the forehead or the chin. Stay here. One. A nice shoulder opener. Two. Three. Four. Five. And very slowly again. Come back. Take a moment again in Shashanka. And just. And just relax. Complete rest. Walk the hands back. Come back nice and easy. Release this position. Again, straighten the legs on the mat. Nice and easy in seated Dandasana. And we fold the right knee. Hug this with the left hand. Hug nicely, all right? You don't have to cross and go for the bind and show your best and all of that no don't do that all right not in today's session just give some love okay and we hug this nice and easy take the right hand back stay here just a nice easy twist look back keep the eyes closed it's absolutely okay and just enjoy that twist being there one two nice easy spinal twist three four five Look to the front, inhale, release, exhale. Nice. Hugging the left, knee with the right hand, fully. Take the left hand back, nice twist and stay. One, keep the eyes closed. Two, three, four, five, look to the front, inhale, release, exhale. I want again you to take a moment here, just lie down, hug the knees, Take a moment here, just to understand, to relax. Whatever you want to do it here, if you want, you can slightly roll to the right, to the left, eyes closed. Focus on the breath. How is the breathing? And then hold in one position. Just hugging the knees, stillness. Eyes closed, nice comfortably.
and then release. All right, keep the knees bent. Take a moment here. How are we doing? Are you getting bored? No, right? Give it time, it's okay. If, if you are trying and forcing yourself, um, be it in the asana practice, we're not doing any hard asanas that we have to force physically, but even if you have to force mentally, if you're trying to, I don't know, um, make yourself understand that we have to do this session, uh, then I think it's not going to work. I believe uh, what we need for this practice is uh, the art of surrender, right? Surrendering. So that's what we need. Surrendering to, to this mat, to the instructions. That's it. You don't have to physically or mentally force. You just be there on the mat. Just listen to the instructions. Follow those instructions. And that's it. Like I said, we are doing anything and everything with this body, right? Oh, we want uh, um, advanced asanas. We're trying our best to achieve those asanas. But it's like, have you ever asked this body? <laughs> like, hi, you're giving me so much. Should I also do something for you? Yeah. So we are doing that today. We're just being thankful. We just, you know, nothing but gratitude. Attitude of gratitude. Okay. Let's just hug the right knee. Hug it nicely. <clears throat> and then rotate it. It's, it's like this. Good rotation. Five times clockwise, five times reverse. Okay. Let's do it. One clockwise. Eyes you can keep closed. Two. Three. Like you're massaging. Four. Five. Reverse five, four, three, two, one. right knee, right leg, hugging the left, same way, hug nicely and the rotation clockwise, one, two, three, Up Ananda Balasana, separate, hold nicely 
and just rolling to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Not fully, just massaging the back. Eyes closed, continue to move, continue to move, continue to move. Loving that back. And then again, hugging the knees. Drop the heels down, keep the knees bent. Keep the palms on the thighs, eyes closed, nice and comfortable. Staying there. Whatever we did so far, less asanas, but more talk, <laughs> right? More of the conversation. But I think it's because um, I think we are already connected through the practice. Um, and this conversation matters and I think I also feel connected to you through our practice, right? Through our regular practice and you means connecting only, you know? So connecting with yourself today, right? Through the practice of gratitude, okay? Releasing this position then nicely, easily. Taking a moment here. Just in Shavasana. And then you can turn around, make a pillow of the arm, keep the knees bent, make a pillow, take a moment there, keep the eyes closed. Just understand the changes. And then very slowly you can sit up, you can open the eyes, but sit up nice and comfortably. Again, just being there, right? Like I said, we're taking it slow, we're taking it easy today. We're not forcing, but we will continue with our pranayama. And um, yeah, more uh, focus on the breath and um, less focus on a lot of thoughts or vichara or anything, right? You just, uh, just be here in the present, okay? Pranayama, Anuloma Viloma. Go ahead. On your own, just five rounds. Watch the breath. Watch it when you inhale. Watch it when you exhale. Watch it when you inhale. Watch it when you exhale. Watch it when you inhale. Watch it when you exhale. Continue that. Continue that. 
for me it's the life sound now you can complete your practice easily not rushing once done the palms can be in a relaxed position on the knees spine is still long and active next we'll go for brahmari pranayama same we'll do five times and then we'll just be here in seated comfortable cross legged position just watching the breath watching the thoughts letting it go with every exhalation and just consciously becoming aware of the breath okay go ahead for brahmari we do five times and then we just relax here on your own five times go ahead keep the eyes closed palms can be on uh, the knees in fully covering the knees in a relaxed position or more passively on the lap shoulders are fully neutral relaxed facial muscles calm and relaxed eyes are closed no judgment no thoughts not being in the past not being in the future just here at this moment right here where your physical body is at this moment you have everything we need you have this beautiful life you still can breathe right and there might have been times when you felt so super happy and there might have been time when you were sad uh, thinking about something or for any reason but who you are now at this moment if you are not sad if you are not happy then who you are that is why this breath this prana plays important role watch the breath How does the spine feel? If 
after sitting for too long? Do you feel any sensation? Become aware of that. Breathing should be deep and long, abdomen breathing, belly breathing. You become aware of that. And then slowly, very slowly, we will lie down in Shavasana, but before that you can open the eyes. My gratitude to you. Thank you so very much for trusting me, for your time, for your efforts, right? And thanks to this channel that um, that is being the um source of the connection right um i enjoyed this series totally and i hope you also enjoyed this um today you take shavasana on your own and um, i will see you in my next series till then you keep breathing right being grateful for all that we have family, this body, this breath and all and everything that we have. Okay, you can release this position and then you can surrender yourself in Shavasana. This is, this can be a short Shavasana, this can be a long Shavasana. It's completely on you. Okay, so thank you so very much again and See me in the next class. Namaste Ji. Mm -hmm.